Okey, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, hari ni kita nak continue dengan another type of triazole test. Okay, the last the last type of the triazole test, the unconsolidated undrained triazole test. Or we call it as a UU test. Okay, so the first sample, uh, the first stage is the saturation stage. To wet the sample until the sample fully saturated. Uh, exactly similar with the procedure of saturation for CD and CU test. And then we need to fill up the cylinder with distilled water. Fill up the cell cylinder, eh, the glass cylinder with the distilled water. And after that, kita allow water to flow into the specimen through the back pressure line. So, water will infiltrate to the specimen slowly. Depends on what type of soil. Okay. If it is tested on fine soil, so the process of saturation will take longer than uh, coarser soil. Right, okay, after the sample or after the specimen reach the fully saturated stage, we will continue with the next stage, the unconsolidation stage. Since this is the UU test, okay, unconsolidation, okay, the U for the unconsolidation, meaning there is no consolidation, okay, maksudnya... So, there is no consolidation. So, the soil will not gain the strength because there is no compression. Okay. Um, we just uh, allow the sigma 3. But then, there is no uh, drainage to allow to permit to flowing out from the system. We still need to apply the sigma 3 isotropically yeah, all around the sample. We we'll receive the same amount of sigma 3, but then we are not allowing water to flowing out. So, that the uh, consolidation meaning that it unconsolidated. Yeah, water not permit to drain out during the stage. So, the drainage valve is closed. Kat situ, yeah. Okay, so what will happen? Yeah, akan ada U lah. Eh, dekat dalam ni akan ada U eh? Akan ada pressure water The pore pressure will, U will develop and increase in this stage But not measured eh? So for the UU test Kita tak measure the pore pressure okay. Then after kita apply sigma 3 without waiting for the longer time we just immediately uh, apply the load for the shearing stage still in undrained condition so bila undrained condition maknanya air tak boleh nak drain out kita tak benarkan tak permit air untuk keluar so we will apply sigma d the deviated stress still the sample fail okay so kita akan apply sigma d Okay. And since this is the undrained condition, okay, undrained condition, so water not allowed to flow out. Okay, so the drainage valve again kita akan keep close lah. Okay, so kita akan apply sigma D till the sample fail. Maknanya you will increase the sigma D sampai lah sample tu fail. Since kita tak tunggu untuk air keluar, eh, during the consolidation tak ada consolidation sebab air tak keluar. And during the shearing, because of undrained juga condition, so this test akan ambil masa yang sangat cepat. Because kita tak tunggu air untuk keluar. Knowing that the process untuk air keluar from the sample akan ambil masa yang lama. Tapi this case, tak payah tunggu air keluar. You apply sigma 3, then immediately you apply sigma D. Till the sample fail. So very fast and quick uh, test. Okay, so again akan ada U lah kat dalam ni sebab dia tak boleh keluar kan. So, U tu akan berkumpul kat dalam ni lah. Okay, akan ada U. Uh, but again, kita tak measure the U. Okay, kita tak measure the U. Just nak tengok the character of the sample dalam keadaan dia undrained bila air tak keluar. 
So what will happen to the sample? So ini adalah one of the result test yang very fast. Okay. Yang generally kita perform uncohesive soil sample. Eh, jenis tanah yang fine soil, yang saturated soil. Okay. Uh, for example in clay, we know that drainage does not occur quickly. Kita tahu clay adalah uh, fine soil which which is have low permeability. Maknanya air bila infiltrate masuk, dia nak bergerak within the particles akan ambil masa yang lama and also untuk dia keluar daripada sampel pun akan ambil masa yang lama. So mostly when we work with clay, kalau dekat site eh for example bila kita work dengan clay, normally dia akan assess dalam keadaan undrained condition. Maksudnya dalam keadaan ada air kat dalam tu. Okay. So ini biasanya So the analysis Dia akan dalam term undrained condition So kalau you tengok dekat cohesion C tu Dia akan letak U U ni merujuk kepada undrained And also the angle of friction U Dia letak U kecil kat situ That U tu refer pada undrained condition So normally the value of C U will be more than 0 But then the angle of friction U U the angle of friction U akan equal to 0. Okay. Then the increase in pore pressure sama juga increase dengan dalam total stress. Since air tak boleh keluar, whatever total stress yang masuk, yang sampel tu receive, the amount of total stress tu akan sama dengan amount of pressure kepada pore pressure. Kalau kata kita masukkan total stress 100, for example 100, so pore pressure juga akan increase 100. Eh, sebab apa? Sebab air tu tak keluar Di dalam keadaan undrain okay, Whatever value in total stress Sama dengan increase dalam For pressure U So it will have constant shear stress At all value of normal stress So dia akan dapat nilai Shear stress yang constant eh, Tak kisah whatever nilai Normal stress Kita akan tengok dia punya more circle nanti eh. So there is very quick test No consolidation And the load are applied quickly uh, during the shearing process and this is for the short term stability quick loading for example uh, during the constructions eh, kalau nak manage ataupun nak look around during the process during the construction process uh, yang melibatkan clay soil hmm, so you akan da kena dapatkan nilai this uh, total stress undrain shear strength ni eh, dalam keadaan undrain shear strength Sebabnya dia untuk short term stability, quick loading, maknanya during or directly following construction project. Maknanya dia nak tengok current situation, um, bukannya yang long term eh, uh, punya proses. Okay, so the the more circle, how it looks like for the more circle untuk undrained shear strength ni, based on the UU test. Uh, as usual, we will have the uh, sigma and tau. So, the sigma and tau kat sini, there is no prime. Okay, because kita tak measure the U. And this is for the short term analysis. So, basically, it's based on the total strength analysis. Okay, but we term it as an undrained shear strength. Okay, because it's fully undrained, consolidation and consolidation because close the valve and shearing, we close also the valve. Okay. So, the more circle, for example, as usual, kita akan plot the more circle with sigma 3 and sigma 1 for the total stress. Okay, let's say we have another more circle. Eh? So, and also we have another specimen. Kalau you tengok, the punya pattern of the more circle will produce the fairly envelope with angle of friction equal to 0. Hmm? So, kalau tengok kat sini, dia punya angle of friction sama dengan 0. But, they have the CU more than 0. Okay, the CU will be more than 0. Okay. So, we'll obtain the unratio strength parameter with CU more than 0 and angle of friction equal to 0. But, however, in real practice, Normally, the angle of friction not really zero. Sometimes, normally they will get nilai di satu, dua, tiga, empat. Eh, very small amount of angle of friction, which is close to zero. 
ಹೇಳ್ತೀನಿ ನಿಮಗೆ 